Listen. This is not Twitter anymore. This is twitch.tv slash others. This is not twitch.tv slash kin35. Okay? I will say what I'm gonna say without twisting anything. Everything I meant with proper words and actual like reaction and not chop into multiple segments. The bro, listen man, I cannot reply to I cannot reply to 2,000 posts. I can't. I don't know whether you can, and if you can, good for you. I can't. There is no fucking way I reply 2,000 posts. Even if I try, I can't. This is the best I can do. <laughs> okay? This is the best. I cannot reply 2,000. I cannot reply 2,000 posts. I literally physically can't. All of you guys are only contributing one post at a time. I have to deal with 2,000. That's not fair. <laughs> okay? Realize that your favorite content creators are awful people suck so much, man. And then, uh, uh, uh mods agreeing. Okay, I will also talk about that. Okay, first thing first, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we, we just get this out of the way. Number one. Number one. Uh, since, since you actually touched on a pretty good part, mods. Yo, look, man. Every one of my viewer watching, right? Whether it's this video or this stream, right? I want to put it very clear, okay? And I say this a lot of times already. None of you represent me. Don't pretend to go out as if you are my biggest fan. Don't go out there to defend me. You don't have to say shit, okay? You don't have to... I mean, if you want to have your own take to counteract someone else reply bad take, that's fine. But if you feel like you have the obligation to defend me, I'm here to tell you don't. None of you represent me. I don't own any one of you. I don't pay any one of you. I am you and me relationship aside from some of the you know people that I actually really know uh, like for example Gorillion, Wicked, Zeno and stuff most of you we only have a parasocial relationship okay we only have a parasocial relationship you don't know me I don't know you I don't know what you like about me I don't know how much you are willing to go out and bet for me I don't want you to do that because I really don't care Whatever you guys say and you upset someone else or you say something that is reinforcing or supporting what I say, I really don't fucking care. I'm not gonna suddenly give you a medal. I'm not gonna paste a sticker on your forehead and tell you you did a great job. No, you're not gonna get anything from me, okay? In fact, you are just making fa uh, things worse because you are emboldening this guy to prove the very fact that they think a problem is a bigger problem because there are more people that agree with me. So actually, you guys trying to help, you guys are just fanning fire, okay? And I don't speak for you. I don't speak for you. I am, I'm not gonna, if some of you fuck up and some of you get caught out, it's not because others made you do it, okay? Now, on the other hand, if some of you guys go out there and harass these people, that is also on you. Don't pin it on me. I didn't influence you to do that. I am nothing but merely a guy sitting here playing video games, say something out of the blue, react, opinion, just like any other human being. There's bad takes, 100%. Not everybody is perfect. Some people say good things, some people say bad things, some people say right things, some people say wrong things. It is what it is. The only person that needs to live with the consequences is me. Oh my God, Arthur, you are such a bad human being. That's minus 10 Rees. I'm sorry, that's minus 100 aura. Oh my god, Arthur, today you have a really good take that says plus 5,000 aura. Oh my god, how much aura do I have now? I got 400 aura. I don't give a fuck. I would care less about my public image or my social media image. Okay, even if I say the wrong thing, that's an L for me. That's a dub for you. But I don't care. Okay, so first thing first, get it very clear, right? Every single one of you, right? Don't go and harass people. And if I found out you do, trust me. Trust me. Okay, honestly, I can't do much except for banning you. I guess, I, I guess that's the best I can do. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the best I can do. Maybe I'll ban you from my stream and ban you from Xeno stream. I guess that's the best I can do. I wish I can do more. I wish I can do more. Okay? I, I, I wish I can do more. But uh, don't, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Because number one, you're getting me into trouble. So you're not helping me. Okay? You're not helping me. 
And then number two, you're also making yourself bad because sometimes my take are definitely bad, definitely wrong, okay? And if you support my good take, good for you. You supported my bad take, that's on you. I feel bad for you, okay? So please, do not, do not ever, okay? 45 year old clown uh, with children crashes out live over doubling down the stupid tech rafal. Just continue making a, a discreet juggling 14 cloud on your paycheck and shut up. I don't need your paycheck. I don't need paycheck. In fact, I'm gonna allow your message. Uh, how do I allow your message? Wait, how do I allow this message? Possible ban invader monitoring. Wait, how do I how, how do I how do I enable this message? Your mods, dude, my fucking mods don't even know what to do. How do I go mod mode and allow this? Wait, how do I allow allow him? Okay, he posted this, right? I want to know how to allow him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I allow this guy? I want to allow. I want to allow him. I ah, fuck it. I'll paste it. I'll paste it for you guys. Okay. So in case you guys don't see it. Oh, you guys saw it? Nice. <coughs> ban evader, I see. See what I mean? See what I mean? Sometimes you try your best to make this, not make these people dumb, you know? Sometimes you think that I am the one that is dumb, you know? And then sometimes you see. What am I gonna do, man? Yeah, like, 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 really, like, 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 really, what am I gonna do? VIP him so that he can farm content, make a command. Uh, to write off of these people, just sort of rough. If you are not these people, then you have nothing to worry about. Yeah. Why are you being a righteous knight that you think that you should not say this to people? You should not say that to people. Don't you have some empathy? Wow. I, I, I wish you the best, man. I hope you succeed in life. Because I don't. I'm just a loser, 43 year old guy with a wife, five kids, my own home, and then sitting here and play video games, man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking loser, man. Yeah, 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 so I do things. I do think that your positivity got you somewhere because let me tell you, I guess this will transit next into my talking point because I do think that I name drop some people in my wow stream while doing content and didn't really talk about it. I might actually drop some name again. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to deflect. I'm not trying to pretend this video might actually be worse than the clip. I don't know. And like I said, I don't care. I just have to say it out and then see what people think. See what people think again. If they can think the second time because they couldn't think the first time, right? Okay, another thing, Hard moral standards. Dude, none of this is scripted by the way. I'm just going on the fly, okay? So I'm trying my best. Moral standards. I know some of you have high moral standards in how a human should begin or how somebody should present themselves. I don't know, I don't know how to do that. I really don't know how to do that. I, 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 I grew up a piece of shit like it is. I'm not trying to like be proud like I'm an asshole or something like, you know, people on Twitter actually think that I'm proud and an asshole. I'm literally just telling you, dude, I, I grew up like that, man. There's a reason why I don't really mix around with my IR friends. Like, I sometimes just wanna like, when I play football, I just, even playing football, I play my mindset. I don't know, maybe I got a condition, I don't know. And then after that, when I do homework and stuff, I do myself. Play games, I play my own. I rarely find friends to be able to like sit down and play games. I would say, let's just say in life, if, I mean, I'm not proud of it, obviously, but let's just say in life, if I got to count with the number of good friends I have, not counting internet, just say in real life, I would say less than 10. Really, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of friends. Obviously, I think you guys have way more than that. 10 is a very low number, right? So I appreciate you guys have way more than that. So that's really good for you. You have better moral standards. You treat people better. I'm gonna assume that you do better than me. And, and this also means, this part is very important, okay? And with your higher moral standards, I am gonna assume and hope that the people you make are better people that you can mix around with without any sort of drama or bad things happening within your community. I hope. I really do hope. My community is small. I don't have a lot of friends. Even if I call them friends, I barely message them. 
You know, I'm online, offline, I do my own thing. But you know, like like for you guys, there's a like higher moral standard. Oh, show some more empathy to uh, empathy to people. Be nice. Don't generalize people. Don't bully. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> now, I know that I say this on Twitter. I said that some of the things that happened to some of you guys also happened to me. Like, wh wh why do I bring this up? Because we were talking about bullying, right? So there's a few people that I replied. And I, uh, uh, they were like, oh, you are just cyber bullying people. Bullying is not a good thing. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm going to be telling you honestly, I got bullied before. But I'm not about to open a city hall debate and convince you why you should um, sympathize with you. No, I, I don't give a fuck about what you think about me. I don't need your sy sympathy, okay? I just want to tell you that whatever you are experiencing, everybody experiences the same. Now, we are talking about bullying here, okay? Just bullying here, okay? We haven't got into the meat and bone yet. We are just generalizing stuff now. We are just generalizing social media right now, okay? So before you try to put it yourself like in a bad position that way you should be sympathized, I should give you empathy, just based on bullying online, just because of words said on stream, on YouTube, on clip, holy shit, man, you need to grow up, man. Now, I don't know whether Final Fantasy XIV or Twitter is your first rodeo on social media, but let me tell you, man, uh, dude, there are worse... Now, I'm not saying that because it's worse, my behavior is gonna be con should be condoned. No, okay? But what I'm trying to tell you is, if you want to get me, and your best shot is Arthur's, I join your... Pe now, now, this is a real situation. I, I argue with someone with, with this, okay? On the, on, uh, uh, now, I can't even tell you who he is. The person blocked me, okay? So this person was telling me, I was watching your stream. I was in your PF. You kick me after I make a mistake. And then you proceed to blacklist me. My friend asks you why you blacklist me and you show him clips and review everything play by play to show how I fucked up and explain to him how I blacklist him. So first thing first, anybody who watched this channel knows I never ever ever block, especially blacklist, especially blacklist, okay? I never ever ever blacklist people because of one mistake. Whenever I blacklist people, it's usually either within the lockout or a couple of series of pool or a couple of series of fuck up that affects me directly, that I can see it directly. Okay? And if you were to make it to my blacklist, you must be so fucking bad. Okay? And my reason for banning you, I'm, I'm sorry, blacklisting you, is because you are a bad player, you grieve the party. I do not want to play with you. I blacklist you. I didn't need to say more about you. You and me will never coexist together to do any content together. That's it. And that's it. Now, I did what I did to block him or her. Actually, I don't know. And then I explained to his or her friend why I have to go through the vault to convince you why I block you. And therefore, we will not unblacklist you. The person then said, because of what you did, I got harassed. Hey, I said it earlier in the stream. If people go harass you, that is not on me. You did something wrong. You are watching the stream. You were in my party. You know exactly what type of person I am. You know exactly what type of content creator I am. You had choice. You could leave or you could not play like shit or you could have backed out earlier before you make enough mistake. Not once, I don't believe you. For me to blacklist you and then have to explain to your friend why I blacklist you. So before you put this on me, I want you to understand that you had the control. Before what happened to me that I did to you, blacklisting you and going through the vault, you getting harassed after, number one, it's not my fault. Number two, I don't care about my influence. It's not my action. And, and like I said earlier, you fucking chatters that go and... You fucking chatters that... If, if that is true, if you chatters go and harass her, fuck off, man, really. Like, like don't claim to be my viewer. Don't claim to be my supporter. I don't I don't condone that behavior. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my channel. Okay? I don't need your support. I don't need your money. I don't need your recognition. I don't need, like I said, you know, paste a sticker on your forehead. Okay? I don't need that. Get the fuck out. Don't harass people. And if you guys do, shame on you. Okay? Shame on you if you guys do. But to answer the person, I did what I did because you played bad and I had to review to your friend the board. That person took it as I did what I did so that I can harass her. 
I even reply this in the tweet. But obviously, till you guys know how Twitter work. I I mean, guys, come on. We all know how Twitter work. I don't have to explain to you how Twitter work, right? I even reply it on the very next tweet, bro. When I say I did what I did, I mean I blacklist you and go through the board and explain to your friend. And that's why you are still blacklist. I didn't did what I did so that I can harass you. Obviously, you know what I mean? It's it's whatever. Like I said, at the end of the day, I don't really care. I just have to explain to you why I did what I did. Literally. Okay? I blacklist them. No, no, no. I blacklist them because they are fucking shit. They are really shit. They, are, they were griefing. <laughs> they, they were fucking griefing. If you watch my stream enough, you know. I don't blacklist people until the very most dire situation. 100%. Go and check a book. I don't know who that person is. I, I I honestly don't even know who that person is. I honestly don't know who that person is. No, no, I'm serious. Like, this how much I don't give a fuck. Like I said earlier, if everyone, if your if your if your longer shot, right, at me, right, is this one incident and you try to bring me down, you gotta try harder, man. Like holy fuck, man, you gotta try harder, man. I am I I sympathize you for being the receiving end of my wrath. Because you stumbled in my party, you knew what you was coming, you knew you were in the uh, stream, you were watching, you know who I am, you know what type of person I am, and you proceed to unwillingly fuck up. <laughs> like, I'm sorry man, you and me, it's wrong place, wrong time. Really, 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 R wrong place, wrong time, okay? So I want to uh, uh, address the first, be because I honestly didn't reply a lot of tweets. So this is the first one, and this is one of the big ones, because a lot of people think that what I said, it's like, oh, I did what I did so that I can harass you. So, okay, like this one. Again, no words twisted. The tweet is still there. Everything is there. Everything I explained is literally in text. Just now in words and in facial expression. Okay, context. Context important. Okay, so that's uh the first shitty thing. Uh, second shitty thing. Time for the Twitter now, and chat frogs to get theirs XDX Rubat. Now, this one, I am going to be really honest. I am really, really sorry to this person called Hina, please, on Twitter. Let me tell you, we have been on this Final Fantasy XIV community for a very long time. There is a lot of Hina. There was a lot of Hina. And there was one time there was this really bad shit crazy Hina. So, now I'm not involved. I, I have no idea. It was just like on Twitter. We all read it, right? So then when I came across the name when we were scrolling down the... Um, that that those twitter drama right so i saw a hina i'm like wait hold up shit is this a hina and then i asked my chat and then we are i'm like dude that's a bad shit crazy hina is this the one and then chat is like no 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 that's not the one I'm like, okay nah, i don't think this is the one this this person seems very regulated right yeah because we've seen the tweet of the previous crazy hina before so i'm like okay whatever about that okay so we're like, oh thank god it's not so then the hina saw the clip i think the friend clipped it to her or something again out of context hina actually tweeted and was saying that others, I cannot believe you said what you said to me. I'm not the best shit crazy Hina. I cannot believe that you thought I am. And I'm even a supporter of your stream. Now everybody think that I'm the best shit crazy Hina and um, uh, I guess she got harassed or something. Dude, if that is true, I sincerely apologize. When I say what I said, it was strictly really just wondering, is this the best shit, Hina? I don't, I even, I don't, I didn't say she was. Now, obviously, just by maybe hinting, maybe people got the wrong message, people harass her. And again, if you did that, fucking shame on you. But at the same time, this one, I gotta sincerely apologize. Not because she was a sub to me before. Like, holy fuck, man. I under, I underestimate you guys on the shit you do. On, on social media. I really, really, really underestimate you guys. And also there was one time, I get this very unrelated. There was one time I was watching, looking at an adventurer plate and the adventurer plate was kind of like pretty, you know, looking. Dude, people actually go in game and tell the person, oh my God, you look like a slut. I cannot believe that. Holy fuck, man. Just because I look at the adventurer plate. Guys, just because I looked at the adventurer plate, people did that. Fuck you, fuck you guys, really, very... You guys are disgusting, you guys are miserable. Really, really, really. And if you're one of them, shame on you. Okay? <sighs> Why did you stay for 8 mistakes? Because I'm there to help people clear! And I'm there to help them, I even typed them, do you know where you're going? Now again, I don't know whether, I'm just gonna assume that I did that, I typed, do you know where you're going? Do you guys know what you're doing? Okay? and then proceed to do it wrong again. I, 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 I actually 
think that this might be the Tom Berry incident. I actually think so. I don't know. Right? Didn't provide proof. But I'm pretty sure, like I said, I did something like that. So I'm not making excuses for that. I blacklist you. I simply don't want to play with you. Whether I leave the party or I blacklist you, doesn't fucking matter. I did what I want to do. I did what I want to do to regulate my gameplay to my liking. And my liking is I never want to play with that person again. And that's it. You know? And that's it. Exactly. That's what I did. Renos. That's what I did. I blacklist the person. I do not want to play with that person again. I moved on. Okay? I moved on. They didn't. Okay? Yeah. I didn't. I did. I didn't even know which incident it is. Okay? Uh, okay. So, so the... Uh, so that is, I think, case number two. Uh, now, that one didn't really blow up. I think she took it. I don't think she take it very well. But I don't think she's like, I hate you to the bone, you know? I told her, I don't need anybody to uh, agree or disagree with me. I only need you and me to know that I didn't mean that you were the one. I was merely asking whether you are the one. And if people take it the wrong way, I told her, I'm sorry. Okay? That one I did. That one, that one, I, that one, that's an L. Okay. Uh, uh, what are it under it's the okay? So, uh, th th this next one, I guess, is like a holy shit. This next one is long. Ooh. Where should I start first? <laughs> where, where where should I begin? Should I begin with Sophia incident? Oh, can I turn down the music? Oh, sure. It's okay. So, Sophia is showing me poker. Enjoy it. So, no, Sophia is done. Sophia is done. It's whatever. Whatever is happening to me and Zeno is literally not going to affect with me, to me and Zeno. I'm going to be honest with you. Even though it does seem weird that the guy that, that started all this and created this shit show ended up got away with me and Zeno cleaning up. Let me tell you, we are not cleaning up. I am so glad this incident happened. I am so fucking glad that he's finally exposed. Let me tell you, this has been be, this has been in us for a very long time already. Uh, and, and when I say us, I mean the people in this community. Okay? Okay, first thing. Fuck it. Let's talk about Sophia. Sophia has been a piece of shit in terms of relationship like that for almost a decade already. This has been going around ever since maybe social media was a thing, ever since the first word Sophia came out, the first name Sophia came out. This happened even before then, okay? Even, now when is the first fan, uh, when is the first fan fest? Uh, 2018, I think, 2018. I think as early as the first fan fest, this type of shit already happened already. Yeah. Like him cheating, him multitasking, him juggling multiple. And, and when I say multiple, I don't mean two, okay? Him juggling multiple. Now he can say that he's false again, whatever, right? Cats out of the bag. I don't think even if I miss a count, it's gonna make or break or make it better or not, okay? Sophia was juggling multiple girls at the same time. A lot of people knew that. A lot of people knew that. When I was playing in Tom Berry in 2.0 back then, I heard stories. Southeast Asia is a very small knit community, okay? And that back then there wasn't the Oceanic Data Center. It was a very small knit, close knit community. We all already know that. Why do you guys think there's a reason why no one wants to play with Sophia in Elemental? We all know that it mentally we blacklisted him. No one wants anything to do with him. Okay? No one, literally no one. And during that time, what he did to, to what he did to this current batch of girls that came out a um, um, couple of days. I, I, I don't know what they did to them, but let me tell you, those bunch of girls, right, actually wanted to, and I think at some point they even came out to expose him, okay? They were expo they, they wanted to expose him. But during that time in early 2018, 2019, Twitter wasn't a thing, social media, social media wasn't a thing. So some of these girls, I think like, I mean, maybe they are also trying to protect themselves, right? You know, it's, it's very difficult, right? For girls to come out to do stuff like this, right? You know, to, to you know, they fucked up unwillingly, willingly, I don't know. 
and then to come out to say something about it, you know, exchange testimonials, and then, you know, expose him. I, I guess it's not. Now, did they blow it up? I don't know. Now, I guess they didn't, because if they did, then maybe... If they did, Sophia wouldn't be doing what he did in 2024, right? So, what I heard is that those girls tried, but it go to deaf ear. Like, nobody cares, nobody get the memo, nobody got it, you know what I mean? Nobody nobody got it. So then, they just, fuck it. We tried, didn't happen. He's a, he's a, he's a good player. He's like a, you know, like a hardcore raider. Nobody's gonna listen to... Wait, which is really weird. I don't know. I'm gonna talk about this later as well. Like, on the side, on the side note. Like, I don't understand why just because he's like a raider or a good player has anything to do with you scared to expose him. Now, I know, I know it's very difficult for victims to come out to say that. I get it. Whatever. He wasn't exposed. This was like year 2018. Whatever. Okay? Nothing happened to him. He got away with it. He continued his adventure. You know? And then in year 2000 and uh, year 2020, so two years, three years later. So year 2020, we heard yet another rumor that Sophia is, you know, multiple people again. Now, when I say multiple, I don't mean like 100 or 10,000. I mean like, you know, more than two, right? A few. Okay, let me change the word, a few, right? So, Sophia was like, again, a few people. So, then I was just like, holy shit, man. And that was when hashtag me too came out. You guys remember hashtag me too, right? So, that was when hashtag me too came out. So, me and Zeno, right, heard and knew something about it. Now, Zeno knows more than me during this time. For reasons I cannot tell you, this is going to be up to Zeno whether he want to share the information with you. But I got to... Dude, if shit goes south, I try to ignore it. I, I sometimes can't and, and, and I try my best. But I think the cat is already out of the bag now. You know, I guess we can talk about it a slightly more openly manner. Slightly sensitive, but a little bit slightly more openly manner. Okay, so now this is the part that I think a lot of people, a lot of you don't know because we never tweet this out. But I think it's very important now that we talk about it. Because some of you guys need some, some extra information and context. So when hashtag me too came out, with all those people online getting caught doing what they did, me and Zeno is like, this is it. Sophia's gonna get caught. 100 percent And this was the and 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 we were like, we were like, I mean, we were like, yeah. <laughs> you know, Zeno told me something about he knew about Sophia and his, you know, harem and shit. And then I'm like, okay. I also heard stories. This already happened in Elemental. So then that brought me and Zeno together to talk about this. Oh shit, do you have any information to say? I say, you know, back in 2018, I know in Elemental, I know in Tomberry, this type of thing happened. It did. It, it went nowhere. The girls tried to expose him. It went nowhere. He got away with it. I cannot believe he still do it. He said, yeah, I know he still do it. I know because insert person told me. I'm like, what the fuck? That person is the last person that I thought would be involved at that time. I'm like, holy shit. And then we were just like, okay, Let's hope that he get exposed. Hashtag me too, right? Big movement, right? Hashtag me too, right? So then, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So then about half a year, one year later, um, Haru... Now, I can name drop Haru. Now, in case people don't know, right? Again, I have to be very specific in this video or this broadcast because I need to get a message properly across. In case people don't know what Haru I'm talking about, Haru is literally the flag barrier, the first person who retweeted Sophia and said what she said. I used to pursue world first rating, blah, 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 until you cheated on me. You guys remember that tweet? That was the spark that began all this, right? That Haru. That was Haru's girlfriend. Uh, I'm sorry. That was Sophia's girlfriend in year 2020, year 2021. For three years, I think. I think they were together for three years. So if you actually think about it, if year 2001, Haru and Sophia were together, now, you see, you see, a lot of people wonder why do I talk so much. Like I said, this is not about me. This is about me providing you facts. So, if Sophia is still with Haru in year 2001, and I, and, we, and I heard the story about him and in 2018, and Zeno told me that Haru and Sophia were together for about three years, that means that Sophia has been cheating on Haru for three years. That's fucked up. So I was like, holy shit, man. I cannot believe hashtag me too didn't get him, man. It's, it's, I mean, I guess now hashtag me too maybe give these girls a little bit of like, you know, you know, you know, courage to want to say something. You know, are they going to say something? 
So then Zeno is like, okay, Haru says that she wants to talk to you if you have stories to share. Because Haru right now is very, very... Now, when I say right now, I mean 2021, okay? Haru at 2021 was very, very upset. You know, she suspected that Sophia was cheating. Now, again, is this true or not? I don't know. Okay? I'm just telling you the exchange that I have. I'm just being very transparent here. Whether Haru told this to Zeno, whether Zeno uh, 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 interpreted it wrong, I don't know. Okay? So Haru was upset. She was investigating. She was upset. She was investigating. She just want to hear more stories to confirm whether Sophia was cheating. But I mean, I I mean, I guess she knows, right? Girls, girls knows, right? I guess she knows. I guess she suspected. She just want closure, I guess. So I'm like, okay, I can give you some, I can give you some information, right? But dude, I don't want to talk to her. Because let me tell you, man, if anybody's girlfriend has to come to Arthur's. To talk about boy-girl relationship, you must be so desperate. And that just doesn't sound right. I don't want anything to do with this, right? So I just tell Zeno, okay, I got out some information. This was during the I think it was the first fan fest. Sophia had a girlfriend. Is it Haru? I don't know. Sophia had a girlfriend. And then Sophia brought a girl plus one with him to the fan fest. And they were close. And then Sophia tried to fuck another girl at that same fan fest. So Sophia had a girlfriend, bought a plus one that is not her girlfriend, and tried to fuck another girl at that fan fest. Okay? Now, my math is pretty bad. That sounds like there's at least three girls involved at that time. Okay? Now, does the girl know that Sophia had a girlfriend? I don't know. Okay? I don't know. And by the way, this girl... Ever since that incident, felt betrayed, quit social media, quit Final Fantasy XIV, and never wanted anything to do with Sophia, never wanted to do anything with Final Fantasy XIV. We don't know her name, I don't know her name, we just know that she was one of them, and she fucking disappeared. Okay? She disappeared. Okay? So then, you know, I exchanged some of this information, and then Haru is like, okay, I will also get Haru to talk to Zeno's insert sauce. They did. And I was very surprised, like, holy fuck. So I was like, Curious cat, right? So is Haru gonna do anything? And uh, Haru told Zeno something along the lines like, um, she's just upset. She just want to investigate. I don't think she want to blow it up. She just maybe want closure. So she didn't say anything. Obviously, uh, as we waited, not not willingly or not dramatically. Oh yeah, no, right? But we were just like, holy fuck, man. He needs to get what he deserves, right? What he did to this woman, he needs to get what he deserves. But we cannot say anything. You know, like she specifically said that she doesn't want to say. It. So that I also asked Zeno and his source. Wait, so that if your source is also one of the potential victim. Now, luckily, nothing happened between Zeno, source, and Sophia, but it was pretty damn close. And 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 I was like, so is she also gonna say something? Nope. That person also don't want to say something. I'm like, okay, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, they are they are traumatized. They didn't want to share the information. That's pretty fair. It's not my fight. It's not my position. Right? Fine. You know? And Haru didn't say anything. Upset, investigating, she had closure. So, that was the period that you start seeing me and Zeno starting to be very aggressive towards Sophia. Whatever Z Sophia says something shit, we will pound on him. And during that time, Sophia got famous. Remember the WoW incident? Remember when the WoW players come in? Sophia was like the pillar of Final Fantasy XIV, the raid. That the raider that everybody goes to, how to set up raiding, what should be done, cast for us, analysis. You remember? Sophia was the guy, right? So Sophia was very famous during that time. Sophia was very emboldened. And I was wondering, is it because he started to raise a little bit of fame that make Haru wanted to like have closure, you know? I don't know. I don't know. At the end of the day, I don't know. But what Sophia did, unacceptable, but we cannot say anything. So whenever he's fucked up, like me and Zeno will be like. And people thought that me and Zeno were jealous about Sophia, which is fine. We fucking take it. We can't say anything. The girls didn't want to say anything. It's fine. You know? So you go on and on and on. It gives him a lot of courage to start to like DM me and Zeno. Yo, Zeno, I don't like what you say. He even DM me. I cannot believe it. You know, you take something. Oh, this is actually very um convenient since we are on this topic. Sophia was like, yo, bro, you cannot just take things out of context like that and say things like that, man. You know Twitter is going to look at this out of context and then I have some explaining to do. I say, why the fuck do you care about what Twitter say? 
I merely comment on what you say and what you say is dumb. Oh, uh, what you say is dumb shouldn't even mean that you should put me out like that. You should have discussed with me. I'm saying, hey, that's not how React works, man. Now, Sophia is pretty fucking new to streaming, I guess. And that was the first time maybe he started to be relevant and important and famous. So I guess maybe he's fucking rookie, right? Dude, that's not how React works, man. You say something dumb, it's on the internet, it's written in ink. Even things I say, is out there. People take it out of context. People clean me out of context. People shame me on that. I live with it. When you put it out, when you say what you say, you just have to not care for the consequences. Bear the consequences, but not care about why it happened. It happened because you fucked up. Okay? So then I'm just like, whatever. I, I didn't even bother uh, uh, ignoring him. He, he was very egoistic. He felt like he had, you know, he had something to leverage, right, with me and Zeno, which is, which is, I don't know. I don't know why he thinks like that, right? But that was what happened during the time. So years gone by, nothing happened. Within those years, I burned a lot of bridges with a lot of friends or, 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 or say so-called friends. Some of them, were very close to Sophia. I can name you at least, yeah, I, 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 I would say I name you the most important one, Muni, right? One of my best friend in gaming during that Muni. So when I knew about all these things, I confronted Muni. I say, your, your friend is a fool of shit. Me and another guy, Eugene, my mom, we were like, man, I cannot believe it was Sophia, what did Sophia did? Did you know about that? Because we have a, we have a DM group, right? And then Muni is like, don't you talk shit about my friend. I'm right here, he's my friend. Watch your mouth, what you tell about my friend. I say, do you know that what your friend did? Because tell me honestly, do you know what your friend did? If you knew what your friend did and you are on his side, then I can't be friends with you anymore. And then he's like, well, I know I know you more than Sophia. I, I know Sophia more than you. So obviously I'm going to be siding with Sophia. I'm like, okay, that's all it is. That is all it is. That's all we need. Firm handshake. Let's walk, uh, let's walk different path. Never talk to him ever again for, for, for since then. So there's also a lot of people I didn't dare to approach. Sindorf, Leila. There's a lot of people. Like a lot of these like raiders, I didn't dare to um I didn't dare to like approach because they, they were all friends, right? So which is fine again, no big deal, you know. Uh, lose a friend, fuck it, it hurts, whatever, it sucks. It is what it is, right? You have to choose, right? Maybe he chose wrong. Maybe I maybe I chose wrong, you know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe 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 I should have, you know, innocent until guilty. I don't know. I don't know. But I when when I heard the stories, I heard. And I, I, I just can't, man. Like, like I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, man. So after years, nothing happened. After years, nothing happened. Dude, let me tell you, every single time I've been talking about it on stream, very subtly, I've been very subtly talking about that on stream. I'm always like, guys, I know you guys don't like me, but holy fuck, man, you guys better be careful who you are making friends with, man. FanFest is coming. You girls better protect yourself. Don't get your I say this a lot of times. You, you you, girls need to protect yourself. Go to FanFest. Be safe. I know about people that go FanFest to fuck around. You know, watch the drinks that you are taking. Don't leave your drinks unattended. Holy shit, man. Like, holy fuck, man. I'm I personally is also very afraid to go to FanFest. Now, I'm not afraid because I might get fucking yes. No, I'm afraid that because of all... <laughs> I'm afraid that because of all the shit talking that I do, someone might punch me in the face. Consequences. You guys really think that I don't know the personality I am invites trouble? You really don't think that I'm not afraid that some of the things I say hurt someone and someone might just pop me in the face? You really don't think all the things I say, my personality, I really didn't care for consequences? I'm scared of shit, man. When I go to Fed, before I go to FedFest, I was scared of shit, man. Go and ask Gorillion, go and ask Zeno, go and ask Violent. I was like telling them, dude, you gotta be with me, right? I'm really, really scared. This is my first time. I've never been to America. The stories I heard about America, the shootings I heard in America, I'm really, really scared, man. And I shit hot and I and and, and I'm I, I make people, so many people's life miserable, you know? You gotta protect me, right? And then the violent is like, don't worry, just stay with me, man. They come to you, I will punch them in the face. Gorilla is like, I'll be your bodyguard. Nobody's gonna do anything. And then Zeno is like, oh, don't worry, if we all stick together, it's fine. Okay. I I, I mean I guess that gives me a little bit peace of mind, I guess. You know, so went to FanFest. Let me tell you, when I go to FanFest, I got eyes on Sophia. A little bit, a little bit. And I saw Sindorf there. My first impression was, okay, now, is Sindorf like Muni? Is Sindorf like Muni that is super siding with Sophia because they are best buds, right? Is Sindorf... And, and, and a lot of people wonder why Sindorf got a lot of shit. 
on, on social media these couple of days because Sindorf is Sophia's best friend in games. Sindorf is Sophia's best friend. So when, when I'm sorry, Sindorf, but when, again, right, this is also going to be a little bit, what I'm about to portray is going to be a little bit regarding the two hands to clap situation, okay? So when I, when, when, when I look at it, right, from my perspective, right, if you and Sophia are such close buds, and you guys have this bromance going on. I, it is very hard for me to believe, even if you tweet it out, I need stories from both sides before I make a conclusion myself. I'm sorry, Sindorf. I don't buy it. I'm sorry. You are best buds. I don't believe he never fly by anything with you and you never caught any wrongdoings or catch any win that maybe Sophia is a, is a piece of shit. I don't know. I'm not saying that Sophia enabled. I'm not say, saying that Sophia. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not saying that Sindorf enabled. I'm not throwing Sindorf under the bus. Like I said, I respect Sindorf a lot. Hard for me to believe. But I guess time will tell. I wish Sophia came out before he just hide in his shell and actually talk about some of this stuff. Like, for example, you know, guys, this is just me. No one else is involved. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say sorry to my best friends. I mean, I guess Sophia maybe say that to Sindor. I want to say sorry to all my best friends, my Raider friends. Like, no, fucking hell, Sophia didn't say shit. Sophia just gone, you know? So in that sense, I think Sindor is being put in the very bad situation. So for me, I don't believe it. Because I just go by statistics. Two best bad male friends openly sharing their seemingly bromance in terms of their raiding expeditions, it's hard for me to believe that you never once seen Sophia try to hanky-panky with some raider girls. You know what I mean? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. So in, in that case, now I'm going to use this expression now. Tell me whether I do it right. Because I think, I think it's correct. I'm going to do it the same way I did and I'm going to see whether you guys... So, Sindorf and Sophia, it takes two hands to clap. Right? If Sophia knows something and you probably know something, but you guys have a tight hands, I'm gonna assume that maybe you're also part of the problem. Right? You know what I mean? Because if you can catch it, and by the way, this was year 2024. So Sophia has been doing what he's been doing since 2018. So you're telling me six years, seven years, you didn't catch anything. Was that what you actually meant? Yeah, that's what I meant. It takes two hands to clap, right? Right? Hey, bro, I'm fucking 10 girls. Oh my God, bro, I cannot believe it. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Good job. I won't tell. That's, that's what I meant by two hands to clap, right? Am I using this expression wrong or what? <laughs> Did I really misinterpret it? Anyway, this is what I think, right? And, and 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 nothing. So so Haru finally posted a tweet. Finally, finally, I was so fucking happy. I was so happy. Like like for me, it's like a burden off, you know. Not because I'm involved or anything. Not not because Sophia fucked my butt or anything. No, right? He didn't. No, he didn't. Like I, he didn't. Okay. But um um. <clears throat> It was like a weight off shoulder. I'm like, holy fuck, man, Zeno, he finally got caught. Holy fuck, man, Eugene, he finally got caught. Fucking, we were right. We had no proof. We only have rumors. We only got testimonials of people that didn't want to come up. But fuck, we were right. At God, long last. It was just, holy shit, man. I cannot believe it, man. Because let me tell you, these years, I've gotten a lot of shit for things that I do that I don't feel like it's worse than what Sophia did. Now, I'm not saying that I'm using Sophia as like a benchmark. That's a really fucked up benchmark. And say like, oh my God, hey guys, I shit talk people, I blacklist people, I shame people, I'm bad. But you know what? I'm not as bad as Sophia, so I guess I'm fine. I'm not saying that I'm like that, no. But I'm just saying that, you know, along the year streaming, I have to deal with a lot of people. Sometimes it just feels very unjust. Warrant, very unjust that some of the, you know, situation that I, I got into. Now, I'm not trying to like, like, get pity vote here. No, I'm just telling you why it was a burden of. I'm like, holy fuck, man. That's why Zeno had the same idea. That's why Zeno couldn't wait to react to it. Not because Zeno was a react king or something. Because let me tell you, this thing has affected me, Zeno, ever since 2021. Kind of like in the back end. Okay? For a long time. 
right? And like I said, one of the victims or potential nearly victim was close to Zeno in 2021, okay? So it, it matters to Zeno. It matters to Zeno a lot, okay? So I'm just like, fucking hell, man. I wouldn't say we did it, but justice is finally served, right? So I think we going a little bit aggressive on social media to pound on this might seem very like petty, dramatic, catching some cloud or something, but I just want to make it, I, I want to give you a, again, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just trying to give you like a reason why we did what we did on social media, like all guns blazing and and and, and go batshit crazy, you know, like completely out of personality, right? And then now, okay, now this one has nothing to do with this whole situation. This one is more about me. I regret going to all the fan fests and I regret going to the media tour. I wish I am just like I keep saying, just a random video gamer that plays Final Fantasy and sit home and play games. I really regret signing up and going to all of these three fan fests. Now, I'm happy that I met all of you. Those people that I met, I, I'm really happy that I met all of you. But let me tell you, if there is a redo, if there's a time travel machine, I'm not going back. I am not going to any of the fan fests. I'm just going to sit down home, mind my own business, fuck the media tour. There were things that I see, there are things that I heard during these four events. I just feel like, you know, knowledge is a curse, ignorance is a bliss. Yeah, knowledge is a curse, ignorance is a bliss. These four fan fests, okay, maybe not the China one, these three uh, global release retail fan fests and this media tour, I know things I feel like I shouldn't know. I heard things I feel like I shouldn't hurt. And also not to mention, on my own part, for those people that didn't get invited to media tour, for those awesome content creators out there, way better than me, way more uh, better person than me, uh, have higher moral standards than me, con create actual better content than me, I want to say, you have to dig deeper. Because let me tell you, I fucking shamelessly dig. I fucking beg. I go down on four. The only thing I haven't done is to suck a Square Enix employee dick. That is literally the only thing I haven't did. I message, email 10 people. I try to get into the media tour. I went to all three fan fests. I'm like, I really want to just round off 10 years of Final Fantasy. I really just want this. I like, like, I just want to see how it feels like to be like acknowledged, you know? And I, I want to feel how it feels to be. Let me tell you, nothing. I feel nothing. Now that when I came back, now that when I came back from all this event, I didn't feel anything. It was a fucking waste of time. It was a fucking waste of money. And I look like a, I look like a beggar. L really, I, I, I look like a beggar. I, I, fe I, I felt, I felt very, I felt like my self-esteem and my pride went down a lot. Yeah, and I tell myself never again, never again. I don't think I will ever willingly or enthusiastically attend three or all fan fest ever again. If I were to go, maybe I'll just go one, maybe anonymously, maybe wear a fucking cap, maybe shave my head, maybe wear sunglasses, I don't know. And then I will never give a fuck about trying to play nice, play the play the good book and try to get into Square Enix or or or, or, or Final Fantasy 14 team and and, and, and and go to the middle two again. Now if they want to invite me, cool, cool. I don't expect them to, and I don't think they ever will. Square Enix will never want anything from me. And again, it is a consequences I already accepted 10 years ago, five years ago. With the person I am, I already ex accepted that. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't stop digging. And for those creators out there that you think that you should be there, start digging. That, that if, if Square Enix will invite me, Square Enix will literally invite anybody. Okay? Like, how... How down bad are you? I was pretty fucking down bad. And I want to apologize to the Square Enix employee that I've been blasting emails days after days just to get an affirmative whether I'm being invited. Like seriously, I, I, I'm sorry. I apologize to them and fuck it. Why not take this opportunity to say the same, right? You know, so in a way, all this event that I, uh, uh, after I went, number one, didn't feel anything. Number two, heard a lot of dumb shit. There's so many shit going on at the fan fest. And after this Sophia incident, right? I was just like, holy shit, man. Um, 
I do not want to go through that again. I wish I didn't know. I wish I didn't know. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know more. I wish I didn't even know a little. I don't want to go through that shit again. You know what I mean? W the one severe incident is enough already. You know? And I was just like, okay, whatever, whatever. That's it. And that's it. That's it for the 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 regret going to fan fest and knowing all this stuff. You know? Because let me tell you, man, at, at the NA fan fest, I tweeted this yesterday. There was a person that was apparently fucking someone else while married, had children. And I, I, I wouldn't want to say got away with it, but somehow acceptable by insert person's spouse. That was not my problem. Sick to the stomach. Okay? 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 So then now, we go to the meat. So the last two days, or even especially today, yeah, I, I guess the last two days, a lot of people take what I say on social media. Now, I'm not going to excuse myself. Some of the shit posts I post is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I read it myself. It's pretty bad. I am not going to delete it because if I delete it, it make it worse. If I send enter, it's written in ink. Bad consequences, right? It's pretty fucking bad. And I was sitting here and I was just like, I got nothing to do. You know what they say, don't drink and drive, don't tweet when you're bored, okay? So I was sitting there and I participated with a couple of people. And that couple of people is enough to blow a lot of this thing out of proportion, which again, my fault, I accept. It is what it is. I'm prepared for this, right? I'm not scared of it. I don't care for it. I'm prepared for it, right? So I did say a few things, and then especially today, that I think that in the last couple of hours, I think a few people uh, felt um, very uh, disgusted at me, or even like Zeno felt like he disagreed with some of the things, which is warrant, justify every like like me and Zeno, me and the the what the reason why me, me and Zeno are good friends is not because we agree with one another. Actually, funny enough, one of the reason why me and Zeno are good friends is we how much we disagree with one another, because we are not afraid to tell people that. Okay, we are not afraid to tell people that, right? So. I say something along the lines like, okay, let, how do we begin first? Okay, let's begin with the victim part first. So earlier in the WoW stream, I said, again, I didn't watch the VOD. I didn't want to copy my own homework and copy and paste here. I'm going to say exactly what I said. And you guys take this video or stream, which I will upload it. Not going to monetize it, obviously. And then you guys dissect it yourself, okay? So I say something like, I because I knew Sophia has been doing this since 2018. And let's do the hit count. During 2018, there were at least three, at least. 2020, he is engaged. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, had a girlfriend, probably he, um, uh, Haru. He was going to FanFest with another girl. And he tried to fuck another girl that is not this girl and the girlfriend. That's six. And then after that, we got, I think, I, I think, uh, I think there's like a couple more people that posted. Now, I, I, I haven't read all of them. Like I said, I didn't read all of them. There's at least eight. So let's just say, dude, there is at least eight. And I'm pretty sure by now there's at least 10. Now, I'm not saying that these 10 are the problem or these 10 are the emblem, emblem. But guys, like what I did, the man, you, you see, everything I say have a reason for you to think back. As I was saying earlier about Sindorf, if I were to give Sindorf any benefit, percentage benefit of a doubt, you are his best friend for year, decade, and you didn't know anything, I don't buy it because I don't believe that number. Now, you are telling me 10 girls. You are telling me 10 girls from 2018 to 2024 minimum, and then at some point he was multitasking with so many girls. You are telling me None of these girls, just like Sindorf, didn't catch anything. Now, if I were to go by my vindication of I don't believe Sindorf, then I'm going to go with my evaluation of I also don't believe that. All these 10 girls didn't know anything. Now, I'm not blaming the victim here. Sophia is a piece of shit. How did he get away with it for 8 years? That is the biggest question mark, but he's gone. He freaking backed out. He didn't say anything. He put out. He bro didn't even put out a proper uh, uh, apology. Something. He literally just put a cut off from his Discord. I don't know, right? So I'm just like, okay. Sometimes, right? I've been on the internet, dude. I've been on the internet for 
ever since 1993. I played at least five, six MMO. I seen drama. Okay? Sometimes, right? You gotta give Sophia something before he... F be, you, you gotta give Sophia something before he can latch onto it. You know what I mean? And out of all these girls... Now, I'm not naming particularly anyone. I'm not, and I'm not saying that all those 10 that I know so far were all of them. I said some. Out of all these people, God knows how many. Surely some of them knew that they were playing with fire. How come nobody say anything? Now, I know it's difficult. I know it's very difficult. I get it. But holy shit, man. If he go through this for almost 10 years and got away with it, it took him... Dude, I cannot believe the way Sophia self-imploded was because he tweeted something about World of Warcraft. <laughs> I was expecting like some cheating, like, like, like drama elsewhere and this came up, you know? Like he was, he was talking about World of Warcraft and then it, it actually caught him. Haru actually called, came out to call out to him. And then Hina, uh, what is the other girl called? Hina, right? And then Hina also, you see another Hina. So there's a lot of Hina, I'm sorry. So another Hina came out to also like, 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 you know, reinforce that, right? Now, holy shit, man. Sophia must be a fucking master manipulator, man. If he can get away with this for 10 years. The fact that he can manipulate fully at least 10 of the girls. And he can fully manipulate Sindorf or even Muni to not let anybody catch anything. I I'm sorry. I just want you guys to. I just want you guys to do the map. I I just want you guys to do the map. Am I wrong? Even if it sounds fucked up, to think that maybe some of them know something. Now, if your aunt, now if you now I didn't say this on the wild stream. I was doing content, and I didn't obviously didn't tweet. This is unique, exclusive to this stream, right? Whatever I just said, I'm not doubling down. I'm only repeating. I don't want to twist facts. I don't want to make excuse. I say what I said, and I said it again. But now I want to ask you guys: If you guys really think that I'm fucking crazy to think that something is off, something, something, not everything, something, not all the girls. Maybe some of the girls, I say this a lot. I say this was some a lot in my in, in the in the wow video as well. Am I wrong to think that I might be maybe over suspicious? Now, if your answer is if you're watching this stream and you're watching this video, if your answer is yes, you are fucking bashy crazy. You think way over the top. Sophia is just 100% fully manipulated. He got all of them. Freaking fresh. He got away with every single one. But, you know, Karma's a bitch. He fired his own tail. His own tail caught by himself. You know, he, he tangled himself. Okay. And then his best friend also didn't know, you know, Sindorf. If Sindorf would ever come out to say, guys, I really didn't know anything. I didn't know that my best friend was a piece of shit. And then let's just say everyone didn't know. Holy fuck. I gotta give it to Sophia. Fuck you, bro. But Jesus Christ. You are probably the most insane one out there on the internet. But that is if you believe that really every single one of them were just full on jabated. Like complete manipulated unknowingly. For me, I do think that maybe some of them know. Why did they not do anything? I don't know. But I am glad that of all people, and again, this is not outing Haru or anything. Like I said, she is the one that put out the tweet that get this all starting right. I am so glad she finally did it. Like, bravo. I'm, I'm so glad. Now, when I say bravo, I don't mean like, a, you know, holy shit, yay, cheer. No. Like, finally, this fucker got what he deserved. Okay? Finally. And this is why I am so, like, emotionally attached to it. Or mentally attached to it. It's not my fucking problem. But I want to give you reason why I'm so aggressive over this. Okay, now, I'm not making this about me. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, honestly, I should have don't even give a fuck about this incident. I could just be that one guy and just like, oh, no, man. Guys, I don't care, man. Guys, fuck this. Come on, man. Sophia's a guy. He's got a dick. You know, uh, 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 he did what he did because he's a guy. <laughs> I could have said that. I could have fucked it. Okay. Uh, for Twitter, you beat your wife. 
Okay, okay. Now, all up to this point, everything I say is only for people who, number one, care, whether you care for drama or, number one, you care for me or, number one, number three, you care for this. I don't care. I don't care what you care. I don't care what you care. Whatever you have your take, I really don't care. Now, sometimes if you catch me butt naked, sitting in the middle of the night, not doing anything, not gooning, oh, I learned a new word. If I'm not gooning and I just decide to go to Twitter and reply you, hey, sometimes you catch some stray, sometimes I fucked up, sometimes we have a warp, it is what it is, okay? But I just want to let you know where I'm coming from. And before you think that I'm dodging, that is what I meant by two hands to clap. Because I think some of these girls knew, some, maybe, some of these girls knew out of the potential pool, gigantic pool of... Now, I think 10 plus girl is pretty fucking gigantic, okay? Now, now if I, if I suspect and I think that some of this victim fucked around and found out, then I do think that in that situation, you, and you, you kind of also enable Sophia to do what he did. Now, this is, again, I might not have said it clear in the earlier stream. This is if there is some of the girls that knew and played with fire. Those girls, yes, those are the people that, you know, Sophia is like, high five, high five. That's what I meant by it takes two hands to clap, okay? Now, I'm sorry, maybe, maybe, maybe this expression is, you know, wrongfully betrayed, portrayed. I portrayed the exact same way I did earlier. I'm not trying to make an excuse. That's, this is what I mean. This is what I want to uh, explain to you in a maybe a weird fucked up analogy. But I want you to know that that's what I mean. Literally. Okay? I'm not making excuses. That is literally what I say. You can disagree with me. That's totally fine. Because like I said, I am, I am on the more controversial side that I think that there is so, there is no way. The, the more I think about it, I'm not trying to double down. The more I think about it, there's no way. His entire good friend circle didn't know and all the girls didn't know. There's no way. There has to be at least one. There has to be at least one that knew. There has to be something for Sophia to get addicted to. You know what I mean? Right? But this is year 2024. Obviously, everybody thinks different. Maybe I'm over suspicious. Maybe I'm just, um, holy shit, he's fishing drama. He's trying to find out the one girl that doesn't even exist. Oh, he's baiting, he's baiting. Maybe you you take what I said, as what I said. You want to take it out of context, fine. This video is all here. We get to see it, okay? So that is the, um, um, uh, that is the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the two hands to clap situation. I haven't seen any clay, but apparently there's a, this two hand to clap uh, thingy going around. Okay, now this last thing. This one has nothing to do with anything. This one is pretty fucking fresh off the oven. Let's talk about girls gamer. Let's talk about female gamers. My whole entire life playing video games. I have never seen girls have to suffer all these things that I heard or seen in the last three to four days. I personally, you guys see it every day. I treat every human being the same. I don't care whether you're black. I don't care you're white. I don't care you're uh, 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 a guy or a girl. I treat everybody the same. You fuck up mechanic, I will call you out. I have called out Amber before. I even made Amber cry during uh, Eden's Gate because of some of the harsh things I say to her during raiding. I make Ark hit me. I make Darwin hit me. I've even said nasty shit to uh, Violent Destruction. I've said nasty shit to Zeno. I've seen nasty shit to almost everyone. I even say nasty shit to my JP Static before. Those cheaters as well, right? Those in unnamed, right? I literally treat everybody equal in raiding. I don't give a fuck who you are. Still, Zeno's girlfriend was in the static. I told Zeno the same thing. Yo, Zeno, Nova back then wasn't performing really, really good. It's the first time I know, but it's not my static. I just want to let you know what I think. You're my friend. I want to let you know what you think. I rarely rate with couples. And that's the reason why I never rate with couples. I would love to rate with girls. I love rating with girls, you know? But not the same way Sophia wants to rate with girls. <laughs> Obviously not. I just think that it's very healthy in a gaming environment that you got girls and guys playing games together. During my time, in 1993, when I was playing Counter-Strike, dude, every single one playing FPS is a fucking guy. So when my 
red lead, right? My guild, my 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 team, our team back then, make like a female division. We get female players. It was very healthy. People were more jovial. I mean, fucking obviously they were flirting. People were more active. People show up to dude. People show up on time to raid. People show. I'm sorry, not raid. People show up on time to scream. People show up on time to play Counter Strike. Oh, oh. People make the teams even. You know, people back then only want to play with the best players, so they always win and frag out, right? When we have female players, right? Oh, yo, we can be in the same team together. Okay, let's make the team even. We got three guys. We got three, three girls. And I'm just there, like shaking my fucking head, man. Why? What the fuck is going on? You know? So I never give a fuck whether they were guys or girls. I always just like I'm super serious, dude. Dude, 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 dude. You know what? I'm not trying to like. I mean, I'm gonna ego boost a little bit. There was a few girls back then when we were using my uh, my space and Friendster. There was actually a few girls that is like, I mean, this Counter Strike guild that every one of these fuckers just want to get in our pants. And I am glad that Arthur's was not one of them. Oh, let me tell you, that was a compliment. And then here comes the fucked up part. They thought I'm gay. So this is how equal I treat everyone. <laughs> they thought I'm gay. They thought I don't like girls. You know? They thought that wh why am I like, you know, screaming at girls making mistakes, screaming at guys making mistakes. They thought I'm gay. You know? So I'm like, okay, I mean, I guess it's a compliment, but I'm not gay. <laughs> but I'm not getting in your pants, don't worry. I just want to play fucking video games. You know? Oh shit, who this? Thank you for the whole store. Right? So then, and also, I'm a Singaporean. I grew up in a multiracial society. We got Indian, Malay in Singapore. It has never crossed my eye that just because of your skin color equal, I need to like give you special sort of privilege or attention. No, like I, I grew up in an environment that everybody is just being treated equally fair. Holy fuck, man. If some of you guys look at the way that I talk to my wife during raiding, you will know what I'm talking about. She fucked up, I will give her shit. She did well, I will phrase her. She needs my help, I will be there. She needs a group going, I will make it for her. Okay? Like you, people, again, again, this is only for people that watch the stream, knows me, and know what I'm talking about. If you are just some of those Twitter goons that is just replying to random message and just type shit, I don't care about you. You are not gonna affect me. You really will not affect me. My life will not be more miserable and or shittier because of you. Oh, well, oh, let's cancel him. Let's get him to one viewer instead of 1,000. It doesn't matter whether I got one viewer or 1,000. I will do the exact same thing. Now, I'm not going to say the same if I'm 26 years old. If I'm 26 years old, I'll be the nicest fucking most positive guy on the internet. I will. I'm 43. I'm washed up. I'm fucking old. I don't give a fuck anymore about image, social climbing, being a nice guy in life anymore. My life is complete. I got a beautiful family. I got a wife. I'm married 18 years. I say this because there are people on the internet that thinks that I beat my wife and I abuse my wife and my wife is going to divorce me apparently. I don't know. I don't know for what. I don't know. Yeah, maybe screaming at her at rage, you know. Holy fuck, that's really fucking toxic, right guys? You know what I mean? I got three kids, you know. Literally nothing is going to affect me. I will still be sitting here playing Final Fantasy. I will still be sitting here playing video games. One viewer, 1,000 viewer, one follower, 1,000 uh, follower. I don't give a fuck. It will not. It, you guys cannot. Literally cannot get me. Now, for those people who want to try to get me, please try harder than just Arthur's, you mix me up with the wrong person. Arthur's, you blacklist me from the PF. And try harder. Right? By the way, the person that say that I blacklist uh, him or her because of the PF say that I am the same scum as Blizzard employee stealing breast milk. I I, I guess the charge is equal then. Yeah, I, I, I guess I guess I'm as bad as those people. And I accept. Because if I did that to people and people got upset and people want to label me like that, that is a consequences for me running my mouth on the internet. I accept that. It is what it is. It's pretty funny. It is what it is. Okay? 
All these things so far, it, all we say. Now again, we continue to talk about girls gaming. Why the fuck are you guys in... Now, I, I guess this is just male instincts. Why are you guys trying to... I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't get into an online relationship. I mean, that's how I knew my wife. I knew my wife in FF11. We dated in game for one year before we met in real life for another one and a half year before then we got married uh, when I was 26 years old, right? So I, I you can get relationship, but I never message or send weird shit like some of the things that we saw online that guys are sending to girls. First thing first, girls are way more mature than guys, okay? A 24-year-old guy and a 24-year-old guy is not the same. The 24-year-old girl is, has a mentality of a 24-year-old girl and the 24-year-old guy has a mentality of a fucking 12-year-old. Girls are way more mature than guys. If you do dumb shit like this, sending weird shit DMs, what the fuck did you expect? Of course, they're gonna find you as a creep and you are young. Not, not only number one, you are young, Number two, you are also mentally too young. You don't know the consequences that you did that one day these people is going to send it on the internet, put it on Twitter, call you out, and bam. There you go. That's one severe down. Like I said earlier, if you guys want to bring me down, and I said earlier, you can try harder, go dig out my DMs. Hack my computer. Go dig out my DMs. Check every Discord, drama Discord you are in, see whether I leave any traces. Go ahead. I, I, dude, I'm 43 years old. I got, I ain't got no time for this playground drama, man. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I got nothing to hide. Go, go ahead. And like I said, if the only charge that you're going to get me is because I bullied you online, I will accept it. It's just a speeding ticket. Oh my God, he take it so lightly. That's so fucked up. That is not fucked up. That is just another day on the internet. You need to learn. You need to grow up. You need to take a little bit of responsibility when you're online and you run your mouth or you play the game badly. Try League of Legends. Try Dota. Try Valorant. Try Counter-Strike. Final Fantasy XIV is pretty tame. Final Fantasy XIV is pretty tame. And I don't blame you for being first time or upset the first time, but grow up a little and guys please stop exploiting girls man please fucking stop exploiting let me let me tell you what now again i didn't really know this is like a big problem no wonder there's a few friends that i know in game they just completely stop reading i was like oh my god we did two things together you know like I, i'm gonna name a bit i'm gonna name a bit i'm not trying to like shame or anything like vespi for example i love vespi vespi is one of the nicest person i talked to we did a little bit of tea before i think and then we also did some uh she taught me how to heal uh, we did some like Titan, the first time I healed on Titan. She was really nice. I'm like, holy fuck, you're a really good player. Thanks for teaching me. Thanks for carrying my first scholar run, right? She's such a good player. And suddenly one day she just stopped reading. And I was like, wait, what the hell? Why, what happened? I didn't know like in the back end, girls are being treated not the same. You know, girls are not, girls are being treated not the same. You know, I, it never crossed my mind. I never know why people do that. Let me tell you why guys do that. Guys are taking advantage because girls are sadly being viewed as weaker players you are a girl you can't be better than me ego you are a girl you can't be better than me we can definitely recruit someone else yeah i guess we recruit you as the last choice number one either you know i want to send you weird fucking dms you fucking creep or number two ah you know what at least we get someone that can just fucking follow what we want to do Yo, either way that's pretty fucked up and then for the girl right those girls genuinely just want to rape those girls really generally just want to read. Girls don't mind making guy friends, but girls are very careful when it comes to choosing a boyfriend. Just because you are a good raider, guys, just because you are a good raider, that doesn't mean that the girl is going to get impressed. Dude, being good in Final Fantasy XIV is so fucking easy. Don't, let's not pretend that just because you're a high passer, you are a good raider and therefore, oh, I can get the bitches. No, dude, girls are, the girl, some girls are even better than you. And the only thing you can do is to bring them down. Like, fuck off, man. Like, 
like so, they, they, uh, all of them are the same, man. Like I, I can tell you, there's so many girls that play the game better than than me. There's, there, there's so many people that play the game better than me. Like, please stop being creepy. Please stop inviting girls for obviously more arterial motive than like raiding. Like, dude, that that that's really bad. And for girls, I, I know this is gonna be very difficult, and I know that this is gonna be very easy for me to say as a guy. And I'm sorry if this is a bad thing. Aries out of his goddamn mind but i gotta say this if you guys can be stronger look at the sophia incident look at the raiding scene incident please fuck it man fuck the guys man get i know it's hard i know maybe it might be impossible get that courage and and and, and do something you know what i mean now 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 i'm not saying that after you got victimized you do something no it's hard but if you see something off fucking sound the alarm man you know what i mean like don't wait too long don't wait until it's too late don't wait until shit happens and you regret right same for rating if you see some red lead being fucking weird too there's always a next great group there's always a better red group that group ain't gonna succeed anyway that group ain't gonna succeed anyway like, like i mean i guess the fierce group did succeed <laughs> but holy fuck man i guess that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a real i mean i mean i guess that's a real lesson learned right and that is why right if i were to give an example i i i for example for example in terms of rating i like personalities like spazzy i like how she do look at spazzy spazzy did something bad or wrong she came into the discord she didn't unmute i called her out obviously she cannot hear it i have to get Zeno and apollo to talk to her apollo didn't dare to and then Zeno did, right? And then Spazzy think that I'm talking behind her back. I'm like, I'm not talking behind your back. I'm not muted. I literally talked to you in Discord. You didn't hear it. She had the guts to bring this out of me. And I was very impressed. I'm like, okay, I like that. It takes two to tango, you know what I mean? Now we are talking business. Now I know that if Spazzy fucks up, I can call her out. Now she knows that if I fuck up, she can call me out. In a raiding in a raiding scenario, that is good. That's why me and Zeno love raiding with one another. That is why me like to raid with some people because I treat it as a business and it should be business. No one should be catering for another. No one should be technically nicer. Oh, but you should show empathy. You show empathy. You show everybody the same empathy. Oh, she's a girl. She's my wife. Show some empathy. Fuck you and your wife. Your wife is shit and you invite your wife into the static, and you get me into this fucking shit show, fuck you too. Yes! It is what it is! Okay? It is what it is! Right? Uh, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry, and then go to DM, call her, her, oh, I will protect you, don't worry, don't worry, others make you cry, you can come lie down on my shoulder. Get the fuck out, man. You, you, you fucking creeps. Like, if there's any creeps out there right now, and with this situation with Sophia and the mistreat of women in the race scene, you guys need to fucking stop and you girls need to start. Like, like, holy fuck, man. Like, 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 I, I, again, I know it's very unfair. I know it's very difficult. I know it's very easy for me to say, but again, what did I say? It takes two hands to clap. See, this is my meaning of two hands to clap. If you don't say anything and you suffer in the red environment, they're going to push you. They're going to take advantage of you. You give them the high five, they get a high five and you're going to suffer. Okay? This is what I mean by two hands to clap. Okay? Is this going to be properly portrayed? Are people going to look at this and like, ah, I forgive. I don't care. I don't care. I only care about the people who care and I only care about the people who gives a shit. I really don't care whether you misinterpret what I say or even if this analogy is bad, I don't give a fuck. I say my piece. I'm not hiding anything. It is what it is. Okay? They will make it out of box, uh, out of context and make it more clear. You are backpedaling. Shut the fuck up. I'm not. Okay, is there anything I haven't talked about? Is there anything I haven't talked about? Is there anything? Is there anything I missed? Wife talk, like I said, me and my wife are married for 18 years. My wife is kind of a weirdo. The very fact that my wife... Hey, 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 social media ain't wrong, by the way. Social media ain't wrong, by the way. The fact that this guy 
has a girlfriend. Now, obviously, when they say that, they obviously don't know me and watch my stream. It's a wife. The fact that this guy has a wife is wow. <laughs> I agree. I, I really agree. I, I don't know. I don't know why my wife would fall in love with someone like me. I had my doubts. I really had my doubts. When I was like married three, four years in, I really thought that, man, she's one day going to run away because she's too good for me. There's no way she's going to stick to me. Ain't no way. You know? Why would someone... I I literally is accepted that my whole life will be alone already playing video games as a loser. Like what most Southeast Asian family friends would say. 80, 90, 80, 90s, adults, loser. Who the fuck would want to be with a loser? Oh, wow, I found a girlfriend in Final Fantasy XI. Well, that's a start. It was so hard to find a girlfriend in back then, right? Well, that's a start. Good for me. Oh, wow, we got married. We love one another. That's awesome. How long can this last? I'm counting the days. It's been 18 years. I told my wife her previous boyfriend treat her way better than I treat you. And you have to end that relationship. Let me tell you, man, if my wife and the ex-boyfriend was dating the same time I dated her, they would have been together. Because that guy was a way better man than me. That guy is a way better person than me. Yeah. The reason why my wife broke up with him is because the guy's mom is a sociopath. It's a clingy sociopath. The mom is like, oh, I cannot believe you take my son away from me. My son used to come back at night every day to have meals. Now he doesn't do it anymore. It's all because of you. My wife had to suffer that shit for seven years. And my wife is like, fuck off. And then my wife be with me. I'm like, wow, that's a downgrade. <laughs> so I told my wife, right? Let's count to seven years. Because seven years is when they broke up. Let's see whether seven years later, you and me will still be together. And let's just say seven years. Let's make a pact. Let's give each other seven years. And if it doesn't work out, firm handshake, it doesn't work out. I don't want you to suffer. I am an insufferable person. I am a very difficult person to get with. I'm full of shit. Okay? But, you know, let's see whether we can get seven years. I have no confidence. I had no confidence. I, I really had no confidence. I thought three, four years, we are done so. My mom, my dad, my uncle, my aunties, my cousin, they all think that the first, the first thing my auntie asked my wife, then girlfriend was, why the fuck would you be with others? You look so good. You have such good, like you look good. You're such a nice woman. Why would you fall into others? And I'm just there like, I, bro, I'm literally sitting here and listening, man. You know, like nobody believed. Nobody believed. Here we are. 17, 18 years. Yeah. I'm not saying that this will be, you know, wonderful, a bliss marriage. I don't know. Maybe some shit will happen. Yeah. Maybe Twitter is right. Maybe I am unaware that a divorce is coming. Oh my God, you guys better clip this. This might age like fine wine. I'm going to be jinxing myself right here. You should need, you guys need to clip this. You guys need to clip this. God knows how many days, how many years later. Uh, oh my God, I'm unaware that. Let me do it again, okay? Take two. Oh my God, I cannot believe that. Uh, uh, oh, this guy, this is a man that is unaware that a divorce is imminent. Okay, there you go. Clip that. Yeah, yeah. Age like fine wine. Yeah. It's gonna age like fine wine, right? Maybe? Who knows? Guys, my wife divorced me. Tweet next week for sure. So, I think that's all I need to say, right? Oh, and I... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I kind of talk about this. Again, moral compass. Um, This is specifically directed to people in my shittiest Discord that I don't know why they're still in there. Um, and to my viewers, my mods, and all my friends, okay? Do not ever put me on a pedestal. I don't deserve your love. I don't deserve your defense. I don't need you to defend me. And I don't need you to tell me what I need to do as a person. I live longer than you. I know I hate to pull out this card. I live longer than you. I seen worse shit. I'm 43. I'm not 23. If I'm 23, I would take your advice. And some of the people in this community has given me advice. Some of the people in this community has given me advice. I think I also talked about this earlier in the stream. Some people in the community have given me advice. So there, there are some people that I consider friends. They would DM me, show 
uh, show good intent and it's like artists you shouldn't do this I'm a victim myself from bully what you do is bullying some people don't like it I get it I can't help it maybe I got a condition maybe I need to seek therapy I don't know I am not doing it for enjoyment I didn't do this on purpose I didn't do this on content I wish every stream is strawberry and roses I wish I am not addicted to PF I wish I am not addicted to raiding. I wish I didn't see people play badly and react because they are fucking Lala fell. They play badly and they wipe me and they and they make the group fail. I, I wish. Sometimes I wish. But make no mistake. I didn't do this because of entertainment. I didn't do this because I enjoy doing it. It's just how I am. The fucked up, twisted person I am. I'm not, make, I'm not saying that because of this you should forgive me. No, fuck. Don't forgive me. Right? If you hate me, blacklist me. You don't want to watch me, don't watch me. You want to blacklist me, blacklist me. I really don't care. Okay? Don't come out to tell me how to be a better person. Especially, this part is very important. Especially more than three out of four of you. I'm going to let this thing go away. Okay, especially three of you, four of you have problems. Now, when I say problems, I don't mean you are part of the problem. No. Whatever you guys and your life philosophy and your beliefs of how to be a better person, how to treat other people, have gotten you guys more and often not situation that I find myself never want to be or even you yourself never anticipated to be. So, you and your life philosophy, you and the way that you treat life and people and the things you say have gotten you nowhere. In fact, gotten you a lot more trouble. You are being more surrounded than me with some of these fucked up people like Sophia, to name one of them. You were friends with them. You mingle with them. You do things together with them. You guys, what? Have thanks? I don't know. You guys are that close and you didn't see that coming. And that is your advice to me on how to be better to the community so that you can make more friends. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not saying that your advice is bad. I'm not saying that I didn't heed your advice. But your advice got you where you are and you're giving me advice when all I have is I, 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 I shit talk people on stream. Now, I'm not saying that it's a good thing, bad thing. It's as bad as apparently stealing breast milk from Blizzard employees to some of the people. You, you, you really, you expect me to take your advice? Now, I took your advice. I'm trying. But have you ever considered that some of your beliefs are just wrong? <laughs> because when I go through your Twitter feed, and trust me, I didn't have to because most of these people love posting in anyway. Some of the people got laid off. You know, again, very sad. Some of the people joined the wrong social group. Some of the people raid in the wrong server. Some of the people raid in the wrong FC. Some people got taken advantage of. You guys need to reevaluate. Maybe you guys, like I said earlier to the girls, right? You guys maybe need to toughen up a little bit and not let things happen to you. Really? Again, I know it's very difficult. I know, you know, maybe you come from a nice place. You are more soft hearted. You are more gentle. Guys as well, right? More outspoken, more, you know, calm, collected. But fuck, man. Sometimes the only person that can, the only person that can, the only person that can take care of you is you. The, 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 the immediate response team that can take care of you is you. Okay? I am just being defensive. I'm just I'm 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 just I'm just being defensive. I'm sorry. I'm I'm being aggressively defensive. I'm sorry. Okay, but I'm sorry that you know whatever happened to you happened to you. I I, I feel really bad. I feel like you are you you some of you guys are completely being taken advantage of. And that's really fucked up for the people that take advantage of you. But maybe this situation and by the way, hey, same for me, man. If anything I say that makes you feel fucked up and you feel like speaking up, well, go ahead, man. My DMs are always open. And no, don't send me your dick pics. I'm sorry. I've gone clean these 10 years without a single drama DM and or a dick pic and I'm not about to receive one. Okay? No, 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 no.
Will you denounce Zeno after this drama? What the fuck is denounce? What does denounce mean? Yo, check your DM after you stream. My DMs are all privatized. You have to add me to friend. And I have to double, triple, quadruple check you before I add you. I'm sorry, because of Lionel incident, I had to. Lionel was the only bad shit crazy guy that sent me a lot of those weird shit that all of those people got. The only difference is I only blocked him immediately and that's the end of the story. He didn't say anything bad about me. He didn't include me. I guess he's too busy, two hands tied with Zeno, I guess. But um, that guy never had anything on me. Because you know why? Because that guy couldn't find anything from me. for me. And you guys can try. This is not a challenge. This is not a competition. But man, if you guys want to bring me down, you guys really have to try harder than that. Not being arrogant or confident or anything like. My final advice, look around you. Be careful. Double check, triple check. And update your checklist after this incident and ask yourself what needs to change to make the people I'm surrounded with a better place. Okay, for me, my shitty ass personality, I'm a fucking loner. I only get surrounded by one handful of friends in Final Fantasy XIV and then maybe one handful of friends in WoW and then I'm just surrounded by fucking chatters and zoomers and um, you know, with my happy family which is good, awesome you know, but other than that, I don't care guys, I really don't care even if I say this thing for the last two hours I really, really, really don't care what happens out of all of this I really don't care. This channel will still be here. I'll be streaming. I'll still be playing. Whatever I do is going to be the same. This is not the last. I'm sorry. This is not the first. And this is not the last you're going to heard of me. This is not going to change. You know why? Because whatever this is, haven't got me into trouble. Haven't got me into holy fucking shit criminally trouble. Okay? Haven't spoke to a minor. Haven't touched a... Man, that sounds like a loser, man. Haven't touched another girl. You know, I mean, yes, I goon. We are guys, we goon, right? We are we are always aging. Dude, today I learned a lot, man. Bear with me, man. Before I, okay, okay, okay. This is why I learned what I learned earlier. Because signing off this stream, I need to also address the 20 year old um, um, Gen Alpha people. Hey, what up, Skedaddle? Uh, I am Arthur's. Not lot, not CEO of Ohio, but rather CEO of some L, but also some W Reese. I would like to let you guys, for some of you people who are maybe putting fries in the bags out there, that you better be smarter and understand and know actual context before you yapply yap. Okay, and by the way. A side note, if you don't pack the fries properly, don't be surprised if I come over for some phantom text. Now, I'm done now. I kind of don't feel like talking more to you guys because I am mewing. So long, you six foot seven cooked Twitter uh, uh, alphas. I'm, 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 I'm skibbity toilet. Okay, yeah, that's it. Yo, did I did pretty well, right? I think that's pretty fucking good, right? That's pretty good, right? W take haters from Ohio. Guys, what is he saying? Don't learn. I today I the, today I acquired a bad knowledge. I uh yeah. Ten out of ten, brain rod, uh thanks Mr. Arthas. I have no fucking idea what half I said means, but it just feels right because that's what people say on the internet nowadays, you know? 10,000 aura. No, 10,000 aura. It's not aura energy. It's only aura. 10,000 aura. Level 5 gear. Vite check, Basin. 
Oh god, for real, for real. Hey, and that's it. Really, really, that's all I want to say. I'm sorry, this is a really long video. Uh, I might just, I might just non-edit and just fucking two hours this shit to to the vod so that if people want to read it, people want to read it. I, 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 I honestly don't care. I, I really, really, really don't care. Okay, whatever comes out comes out. But again, for people who cares, people who wants to care, or people who wants to, you know, get some, get some L takes and 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 cooked me. And wanna 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 uh, wanna shit wanna pork me. That's fine, you know. I forgot the no cap. Yeah, that's all I want to say. Really, really. I'm, I'm, I I know this doesn't need to be listened. I I, I and I'm sorry for uh, uh for 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 my yepaholic. But uh, dude, I, I, dude, what, what, what is out there in Twitter is ridiculous. And like I say, I cannot reply to one thousand tweets, and I don't intend to reply one thousand tweets. I will fuck around, shit talk a couple of people. Um, but uh, yeah. At the end of the day, if this video reach one, I don't care. If this video reach ten thousand, I don't give a shit. But I think I say what I need to say, and uh, sorry for nothing. Yeah, really. Sorry for something and sorry for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you call it me doubling down, cannot believe it, whatever. I really want to say I don't care. Okay? I don't care about this whole situation. I care about the victims. I care about the community being better. I, I care about less creeps. I care about more people like Sophia get shined a little bit of light and get them out of the shadow. I care about those. But for those people online that is just... The real yapply yap, the yapaholics that don't even know me, that don't even know people, that don't even know anything about this situation, I really don't care about you. You are nothing. I don't even know you. We will never cross path. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. You say your piece, I will say mine. Let's move on. You know, we, we, we go separate direction. Maybe one day we'll meet. Yeah. Really, really, really. That's really all it is. Yeah. And uh, closing, um, I guess this is very important. Um, and I say this a lot of time, and it's also one of the reasons why I always avoid other content creators. I uh, I don't really try to like ask other content creators to collaborate, except obviously close one, Xeno Violent. Um, I just want to say, man, at least just to these close friends, if you guys ever get weird DM and you guys have the answer for me, you don't need to. You don't need to. Do your thing, fuck them. And if it does make you feel that you're uncomfortable, oh fuck, I should dissociate with others, that's completely fine. Because you know why? I never have a lot of associates to begin with. So don't worry if you really think that you cutting off ties with me is a bad thing, don't worry. That isn't a lot. I, I didn't form a lot of ties anyway, right? Because of my personality, because I'm fucked up, right? So don't worry, I completely understand that. And for you to have to, if you already have or had to, uh, defend me, um, I'm sorry that you go through the shit or if any one of you got like harassed, oh my God, leave others, oh, he's so bad, fuck him. I'm sorry that you receive all those DM. At the end of the day, you do you, even if you don't want to talk to me ever again, I don't care because I know why. I'm aware, okay? So don't feel bad, I feel bad, okay? Yeah, I'm fine, you know? I, I am not at the slightest least worried or care about this whole situation, but I do care about um, my friends getting shit on. So far, it's just Lama Todd, thank God. Uh, yeah, Lama have got DM people telling him to disassociate with me, right? Yeah, his choice, it's fine. Lama did tell me about things like, uh, yo, the two hands to clap, we don't really get it. And because people don't get it, they don't understand. You need to clear that up. And I hope I did. And maybe I fucked it up. Maybe that's not how clap with two, I don't know. I don't know. You know, you know, that, if, if that's the case, that's on me, right? Um, and lastly, my follower, please, please don't defend me. 
please don't try to tell me what to do. Please don't try to like, you got a better solution. No one got a better solution. It's Twitter. If you put pancakes out there, half of them like pancakes and half of them white waffle. And if you don't like pancakes, the waffle lovers will like you, vice versa. That's how it is. There is no solution. There is no making the situation better. If it's out, it's just going to be fucked up. It is what it is. That's the internet. Okay? Don't worry about it. Don't try to worry about it. Don't worry about how about my reputation. I don't really care. Don't worry about uh, 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 what happened to me. Uh, now that you say, no, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm not saying that I'm treating you guys like dirt. I'm just saying this is a this is a open parasocial relationship. And parasocial relationship should be kept parasocial. Okay? I know I know a lot of you guys cannot tell the difference because 2024 parasocial relationship is as real as paras uh, as actual relationship. And that's why we got all this shit going on. But please, okay? You and me at the end of the day we are just parasocial friends, okay? Yeah, thank you, Fuji. Exactly. There will be... I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect, right? There will be things that I anger you. There's the things that I say that is not true. That's fine. That's fine. You know? That's okay.